Hi everyone, this is Nizam. Thank you so much for joining Karel. I would like to quickly show you how to use Academy, um, how to create your own Academy um, in a couple of steps. So you have already created your own Academy from the Create Academy page when you're logged in. I'm just creating one more so that I can show you um, how does it look like and how to configure your own settings and um, team members. my academy is getting set up this will automatically take me to the dashboard when the setup is completely done so by default there is 200 users assigned to me plus two team members and the storage is 10 gb um, if I have the access of having multiple academies, I'll be able to create multiple academies from here. And these are the maximum number of academies or users or members or stories that are allocated to your account. You will have the flexibility of assigning um, this to your multiple academies, saying that, hey, I want to only assign 8 GB for this academy, so I can change that to 8 GB. Um, and if you have multiple academies and you have 100 GB, you will be able to distribute it equally or like the way you want to all your academies. So here is where you can um, manage or you can manage all your redemption codes. So you can enter this to get your act codes activated. Going back to the academy, um, if you click on this, go to academy, this will take you to the dashboard of that particular academy which is unique for that academy and what you see here is the overall status of your academy um, one thing i would like to say is every academy that you have that you create will have a unique interface um, every academy that you um, create will have um, unique settings it's on domain it's on configurations design so it's all white labeled and when you add a team member to an academy, they will not have access to any other academy that you have or that you own. They will only have access to that particular academy. So it's all act as a different, different academy. Coming here, this is where you manage all your courses. Um, you can see all your users here. Um, you can also invite users to this. So if you're keeping your academy a private, then the only way to give access to your users is inviting them. Going to settings will let you set up all your login pages that design, how does it look, what content, whether it is a video, image, etc. the color, the text, everything can be managed from this particular page. If you want to have live chat, maybe if you want to have your own support chat or a community or anything that you want to enable within your academy, you will be able to have it pasted here. Um, or it can even be something like you have a conversion pixel which you want to track because the users is coming from an external source. So you can have your conversion pixel pasted here in the landing page and that will help you to understand how many people have reached and how many people have registered, etc. Maybe what was the success of your campaign. And if your academy is a public academy, you can manage all the keywords, description, the thumbnail, everything which is actually going to be shown in the social medias. And here is where you manage your academy domain. Um, and once you enable the domain, you can connect with us over the chat and let us know and we should be able to add a free SSL to your domain. Going to the admin, um, so this is where you can have your team members. There are three types of team members. One is an admin, second is an author, third is a manager. So admin has got all the permission to access the Ender Academy. Author will have only access to manage the courses and the lessons manager will be able to manage the users um, and the other a few reports and all that so you can invite them here after that you have api so we have an api documentation so you can create your own workflows for example if somebody is joining and you're there is an hrms tool that you're using so you can use this apis to automatically give access to the employee or if you have a SaaS application, so when somebody signs up your SaaS application, if you want to automatically invite him to your own academy, 
you can use that with the API. So you have a lot of flexibilities. You can think about your own use cases and workflows. There is something called widgets where you can take this widget and paste it in your own academy. Uh, so the interesting piece is that your your sales so your customers they don't have to switch between multiple screens to basically um, see the content of your academy. Then you can paste your own SMTP credits here. So the best part is um, you, this can even run as a drip campaign. So you can define what should be the content for day one, what should be the content for day two, etc. Uh, and also we have a good number of integrations that is here available. Like for example, if you have Swamify and you're using YouTube videos, this will basically hide um, the YouTube related links from your videos. And this will also protect you from downloading the video. Plug and paid again, which will enable you to collect payments. You can, this also enables you to get subscription for your academies. And it is very easy to even do the setup. Um, you can find the tutorial in our um,